for this way we'll find that Heather and Francis thought, aiming for gold, they're hitting every target they're set for. They've decided, well, Heather wanted it last period, but Fran decided they were going to do it a step at a time. Which they've absolutely done that. It's 10, 13, 15. They earned 155 pounds in their first two weeks in the business and missed out on the 10% bonus level because of their upline. <laughs> Who brought them in? That's terrible. <laughs> she was 150 quid away, but she told me she could have done it. And now, when I see what they did the following period, they earned 398 pound the following period. Uh, following period, I think it was 790 something. Last period, it's in their story. I won't tell you what they've earned because it's in their training. Uh, <laughs> guys, watch it. So funny. <laughs> This side of the table, I have absolutely no idea. As as real newbies to the business, um, although compared to some, to, to go back to uh, what Deb was saying earlier, it's very difficult not to compare yourself with others. So we're fairly new to the business. We think we've done fairly well, but uh, we try very hard not to always be comparing ourselves to what others have achieved. Um, bear with us. A bit nervous. I'm the nervous one. I'm, Heather does all the talking normally. <laughs> <laughs> Woman. <laughs> yeah, but unaccustomed as we are to public speaking, this uh, you have to just bear with us, my friend. So this is our story. Quite, um, I don't know, see, it would be our story if I could press the button. Okay, so far. See, it's working now. So, Helen. <coughs> we were looking for something in the network, something to do network marketing. We knew we wanted to do network marketing, and I couldn't carry on doing my job full time. Um, for health issues. So I started looking around, doing a bit of research, and it was clean easy. There was no, nothing else that I wanted to do. I just read it, that was it, clean easy. So I, I, got, I got hold of Lynn. I got hold of Lynn, I got hold of, spoke to Lynn, told him that was his birthday present that year. So two weeks later it was his birthday, so I signed us up. <laughs> told him. He was like, no, I'm not sure I want to do that. So Heather now does all the work. Because it's my birthday present, I'm obviously going to reap all the reward. <laughs> so, 
How did we get to where we are today? Um, I'm going to start off a little bit of history. <coughs> we were um, both, we, we are in our second uh, relationship. I had uh, a couple of sons from my first, Ben and Richard, um, and Heather had Carl and Ali. And since we've been together, along came Sky. Oh, she'll hate you for that. Yes, yeah, she will hate me for that particular. <laughs> but she's not watching the presentation. You can only watch it. <laughs> and just as a matter of interest, three days, three weeks ago, yesterday, it will be her wedding. So. It'll be a difficult period. Gold is more important. So we move on a couple of years from all this, and I, I took an engineering job in, in Birmingham, uh, a job I still have today. And to be honest, I'm, I'm, uh, I do very well. It's a, it's, it's a good job. I enjoy it. I have the freedom to do. I'm not particularly tied to the nine till five. I work around the country. I work to what I want to do. I have no complaints about my job. Um, Heather, on the other, uh, other hand, with, she, she had a job she enjoyed, but was becoming more and more difficult with the arthritis. I think that's true to say, wasn't it? So we were, that's why we wanted to, um, <coughs> to, get, to get back. The job, the job itself moved me back to Scotland, and, and we bought a nice house in Lanark. Um, that's just one of the four weddings we've had so far with the boys, and, and as I said, skies is still to come. Um, and along the way, picked up uh, a few grandchildren. And I say a few, I should have done this bit a bit faster. It's just the six of them. <laughs> and you say, what, at your age? No. <laughs> anyway, I tell you that Todd's 13, you know, we've, uh, we're doing quite well. So, uh, jumped ahead to it. Why am I telling you this, I think is the important bit. Why am I telling you about our life before Clean Easy? Um, and one of the things that we wanted to come with today, not that we're in a position to particularly train or teach anybody, but just to share our, our our thoughts and, and way forward is that it's not all about the money. What can the money? Everybody, the, the, the most common desire will be come and earn a few pounds, come and do this. But we, we entered into this as a, as a job change. We went looking at it for a job, and, and quite often you'll see that uh, the, the adverts and the opportunities are put out there on on job markets or school leavers and things like that, where people will, will sign because they need to be seen to be. Uh, responding to job adverts, but it really should be seen as a job, not just the opportunity to come and earn a little bit of extra cash. Okay. We've been fortunate, but we do remember the times when we were counting out our coins onto the coffee jar so we could afford to pay the bills. So I do fully appreciate that for those people who are going to start and want to put that, um, that little bit of uh, investment in the beginning and get a job that gets them a few extra pounds, it soon builds up. Okay. So how we've got to where we are in, in a fairly short period of time, we'll come to the figures at the end, is that we sat and did our research. Um, we read the books. You've all, hopefully, you would have seen the, the slides, the presentations, the recommended books, the recommended authors. We learned what multi-level marketing was about. We learned the clean, easy method, the system for success method that we're using. We then came to understand what it was about so that we could eventually move on to teaching other people how to do it. The duplication, all of the things that you will have heard already and you'll probably hear later in, in, in presentations coming up, is about the duplication. But unless you understand it, unless you take the time to learn, unless you take the time to understand, you need, uh, you, you won't be able to pass on that duplication and repeat your own success. That is our system for success. So, <coughs> the results for us. Nobody said it would be easy, or at least I hope they didn't say it would be easy. Any job itself that's worth doing is worth doing well. This, there will be people that tinker at it, and there will be people that, again, we've said it, unfortunately, they'll fall by the wayside. It isn't for everybody. But generally, it is because they're not committed to doing that job. It may be the dabblers um, that will fall by the wayside. And that's part of life. But nobody told us it would be easy. And it's important to remember this business rewards the hard work and the efforts that you put into it. Those of the successful people in this room have already said the amount of hours, I think it was uh, not sleeping at all, it was 24-7 um, being able to, to sponsor online. There was other comments about the amount of effort being put in, and when they didn't put the effort in, the results fall away. Go to bed every night. Yeah, go to bed sometime would be nice. <laughs> We've worked hard on the catalogues. I have to say, when I say we, again, I'll, I will say that in my full-time job I don't do a great deal. 
weird clean easy. Heather does all the work and I, I, you know, all the rewards really should go to her. But she retailed in this last period £2,672.38 and, uh, and on her own. Okay? <laughs> We've not rushed into um, sponsoring. I think that would be an understatement. <laughs> Again, some of you out there will appreciate how difficult it can be, despite people saying that what you need to do is keep the the numbers, keep it going, get all these people in. But what we have done in our slow but sure approach is in, in the seven months we've been in the business, we've built a team of 11 people, all of whom I see as potential goals. We haven't got anybody in that that we think, well, they're not really interested, they're not going to live long with the business. We believe that the people we've recruited have got the same work ethic, and hopefully if they're duplicating what we, we're teaching them, they will all have the potential to be there. Emma is listening. Good, Emma, well done. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul, hi. <laughs> and finally, there are, check for the last period, £1,133. Because we've got... Um, We've got aiming for this in this period. We've got four people are aiming for ten. We've got two people aiming for thirteen and one aiming for fifteen. And obviously, we'd still like to try to keep our fifteen to eighteen percent retail level ourselves. So it's all built on something that we think is sustainable. And that is it. Door, door to